Hi guys. I'm going to show you how to upgrade the BIOS of Packard Bell laptop. So first thing to do, you go underneath of your machine down here, get the machine details. And after that, you go to the Packard Bell website. Just follow the steps. Now you go to support, download center, now you need your machine details, my one is notebook, is note, Yeah, that one here T E six nine B M. That's my one. You click and open the new window down here. You can see you choose your operation system. My one on that machine is Windows 8 64 bit. Now you go to the BIOS. I want to install the Windows 7. So for Windows 7, I need legacy BIOS, the second option here. You download, click in download, wait, downloads done. Go to my downloads, go to here to download, fold. Can see BIOS Packard Bell. You need to extract the file. Extract to. I'm gonna go in my desktop. Okay. Now. Here. You go to that file in here. Update. You click yes, I will not do because I did already, and the computer will shut down. I'm gonna get the black screen, and you're gonna see loading one to 100 percent. When it's complete, the computer will restart again. You can shut down the computer and check the BIOS to see. Should now gone after shut down you press on press the key on and the key f2 okay press on and the key f2 like this on f2 okay ask for password Now I am into the BIOS, so the BIOS information here. System BIOS version, it's V2.11. My old one was V2.05. I couldn't install the Windows 7, my old version. So you go to the main security boot. You can see here now legacy BIOS. That's the one for Windows 7. I show you. Before I have on that one here, I don't have the second option. Legacy BIOS. Okay, you go to leave. I don't. In that case, you change for the legacy because you need to install the Windows 7. Go to exit. Okay. Exit is saving chains. I don't save because I did it. Okay, you can restart the computer. Insert your media, CD, USB, anyone you want to do. 
uh, Windows 7. I want to show you now. Starting. Is low. See loading the Windows 7. Okay, the Windows 7 is in the machine now. You can, if you have the same problem, you can try to do that. So, I hope I gave any help for you. Thanks, guys.